got my revenge, bitch! Part 2. Verdant Wind. Garland Moon. The Chaos of War. As is standard at this point in Three Houses maps, you have the Kill the Commander option to end the chapter early if you don't want to deal with the map itself. This time it's two. The Baby Death Knight obviously being easier to deal with than the Great and Powerful Hugo, though both could stand to be a little bit further away. Especially with your movement resources being limited by dividing up the party. I always enjoy splitting up the party as it highlights individual strength of all your allies as they have less backup options to rely on. Though once again, with the common folly of Theos' maps not having a time sensitive event, there is nothing stopping you from ignoring the bulk of the map to reunite with your team and continue playing in the comforting blob formation. But at least reuniting with the team is fun. The right up the right side of the map has ballistas guarded by goons, guarded by horse goons, guarded by reinforcements that'll show up near both starting areas. And they aren't even that large of groups, but smaller groups feel just as threatening when your fighting force is split in half. You are very used to using multiple units to take out a single goon. There were times where I felt I needed to play a bit tighter because there were just too many units around me and I didn't have enough options. That's good, I like that. When tackling the rest of the map, namely the large center area, it's mostly about playing around the aggro zones. Not everyone moves at once. They got some nice ballistas in the thick enemy territory. You need some hit and run action with mounted units or you'll be continually annoyed by them. In fact, you get your own ballista on the outskirts, which is the first ballista I can really say I ever used in the whole game. It wasn't bad for safely picking off some of the enemy forces and playing with the AI's behavior. Then you just one piece walk your way to wrap up the rest of the enemies. It's not a big deal. So, I did enjoy playing the map. The ideas were good. The execution was still a little wonky, which feels like the standard for three houses at this point. But I did enjoy it. And it has the city aesthetic that I love. Six? Six out of ten. Sounds good.